Uh, hey guys, it's Liz. Right now, it is 6.42 at night, and I haven't been awake for very long. Um, I have been feeling very crappy today. Um, my throat is really bothering me today, um, so I might make a doctor's appointment for tomorrow because I should have been better by today. <coughs> <coughs> the cough should have been gone by now. Stuffy you nose know, should have been gone by now. But instead, you know, I get a sore throat that just really bothers me. Um, it's not just like a, a little bit of pain, it's it hurts. And I feel like freaking crap. Like I really do. And I just, I feel miserable because I don't feel good. <laughs> so I'm gonna make another doctor's appointment. Hopefully I can make it for tomorrow. I'll make it tomorrow for tomorrow. Cause I don't know if they're still open. I think they close at five. I just, I feel like shit. I had, I had energy this morning, but now it's like completely gone. And my, my ears are still stuffy and that's making me miserable too. So, hopefully this woman can do something for me or whoever I get today. Last time I... Last time I got a nice woman who explained to me in details of what I what I should do, what I should take, when I should take it, how I should do stuff and everything. Um, and I have been, but I don't know what the hell went wrong. So hopefully, uh, if and when I can get my doctor's appointment, um, I'll see what she can do. She said if it wasn't gone within a week, my cough wasn't gone within a week, she'd give me something strong enough, strong enough for it. So, hopefully, she can give me something to just totally knock this out, because this is totally ridiculous. I can't, I can't do this anymore. My ears are stuffed up. Usually, I can have my TV on 19 for the volume. It's on almost 30. And that's ridiculous. And I still can barely hear it. You guys can probably hear it better than I can. It seems like my TV is over there. It seems like it's a little farther than that. And it's on almost... I don't know if you guys can see it. You can't see it. It's blurry. I don't know why it's blurry. But... Yeah, hopefully she can do something for it. Um, I don't have a temperature, so I don't know. Like I said, all my energy is just gone. Um, my energy depleted very quickly this morning, so I don't, I don't know. Um, and I, I took a three-hour nap, which felt pretty, pretty good, but it still didn't help with not feeling good. Hopefully I can get something for it. Because this is, this is crazy. I, I can't stand feeling like this. I can't even go to my girlfriend's house. Um, which I go to her every other weekend. And it's Valentine's Day fucking weekend. And I can't even go over there because I don't feel good. So it's like the whole weekend was ruined. Because I don't feel good. Alright, so as you guys know, I'm a big, huge... I'm a big, huge wrestling fan. You can see the tears in my eyes. Um, uh, you know, guys, I've been a big, huge wrestling fan most of my life. My parents even know I'm a wrestling fan. You can tell by the John behind me. There's a John over on the door. Um, and I watch it every night. No, well, I don't. I don't watch it every night. But I just got caught up on. 
Oh, the wrestling and I'm watching tonight SmackDown. And that's why I was sad because uh, a wrestler that I've been watching for 16 years had to retire because of medical issues. I've legit been watching this guy for 16 years. And so see, sorry, Kip, but to see the standing ovation he got, and he talked about how his father, the last show his father saw, his father got to see the love that the fans gave him. And he started getting a little teary on it, and it made me really upset. But to have him retire just totally upset me, especially. Especially since his. Especially since his mother and his sister and his mother in law was there. It made me sadder, but I know it can't be helped, and, but for as long as I've been watching, it makes me sad, um, so, but I know it's, you know, it can't be helped. He's been having these issues for, I think, a year. For a year. <coughs> I think it's been a year. Just when he started having these problems. I don't know. It's been a long time. But. It's not something I expected to see. Um, I didn't know that it was going to happen. And it just took me off guard. And I'm just a little bit upset about it. I know it's it's not such a big deal. Oh, it's fake, it's fake. I don't care if it's fake. I still love my wrestling shows. And I will always love wrestling, no matter if it's fake or not. The outcomes of the show are planned, yes. But how... The out... The... Who wins a certain match? Who wins matches is planned, yes. But how they win set match isn't planned. How they, what they do to win the match isn't planned. All they know is that, you know, uh, let's say if, you know, Roman Reigns and uh, Roman Reigns and freaking John Cena went to match. And John Cena was supposed to come out on top. I'm not saying it's going to happen. But if John Cena was supposed to get on top, uh, was supposed to win, it doesn't matter how he wins it. He could do the STFU, whatever, as long as he wins the match. That's the only thing that's planned. They don't tell him what moves to do. He just does them. But... It's still upsetting, but to me, it upsets me, but to everyone else, it's just like, it's just a show, right? To me, it's life. Alright guys, so we're going to end the vlog here. Uh, it's only 8.31, but I just want to end the vlog here. Um, I might just go right back to bed. Um... Yeah, I might just go back to bed. I have been very tired, and like I said earlier, to go from having a lot of energy to not to not having any at all. It's just 
very tiring. Um, so, um, I'm just gonna end up, after I upload the vlog, I'm just gonna go to bed. Um, but, yeah. I'm sorry, I really did. I mean, I started the vlog as early as I could. Okay, maybe I didn't. <laughs> but, like I said, I went from feeling pretty good today to, to like, uh, this morning I had energy. I started the day feeling good. Then about 8.30... I went from having energy to dropping, to having no energy at all, and I wasn't feeling it. Um, I just, I started, for some reason, the tables turned. I was feeling better, and then, for some reason, I dropped about 20 pegs to feeling horrible. So, but I'm just... Make doctor's appointment. I was just there last week, but I can't. To go from feeling good to dropping down 20 pegs to feeling horrible is just. <coughs> is a no go. It's not. It's not good. I can't do this anymore. This cough has to go. The cough has to go. The sore throat has to go. Stuffy nose, stuffy ears, it's gotta go. It's gotta go. Like, soon. I can't anymore. I can't. I can't. I've been, it's too weird. I started feeling like shit last Monday. I started getting better, and then all of a sudden, you know, yesterday, last night, I'll start with the sore throat, and then all of a sudden it's like, holy shit. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the doctors and see what's going on, see if they can get rid of this real quick like like in next week quick so uh, come on uh like subscribe favorite share with your friends and family and i hope you guys have a great night and a great day and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys hopefully i can have answers by tomorrow